today we will start with a the very important and exciting topic for the day the immunopathology now immunity as such is a very important topic for uh, quite a lot of reasons i'll tell you what are the reasons which you think have to know the first is obviously you get in pathology the questions based on the immunity questions second is you get questions from immunity also from microbiology so which means you have a microbiology based immunity questions third you do get questions from the medicine so you do get immunity based questions from medicine and fourth important pediatrics pediatrics also you do have immunity based questions so if you actually look into the importance of this topic this topic will be covered in five different areas in your medicine including biochemistry so i think you will learn some amount of immunity also back in your biochemistry so i don't think we need to emphasize too much on this topic this topic is definitely a more important topic from the examination point of view where you will get frequently lot of questions now how do i master one specialty call immunity very simple all you have to know is you should be very good in fundamentals if i am talking on autoimmune diseases if i am talking on immunodeficiency diseases if i am talking on hypersensitive reactions if i am talking on transplantation related disorders or diseases or if i am talking on some of the other core aspects of the immunity you will always have to learn some of the important things in the fundamentals so we'll now get a point how i am going to just divide this topic so we are going to start with the fundamentals so i am going to start with fundamentals so we learn the basics of immunity i think your robins also have done the same homework we'll start with the basics then we'll go on to the first important topic for this immunity we call it as the immunodeficiency diseases immunodeficiency immunodeficiency disease i am not going into all the diseases but i am going to focus my attention on the primary immunodeficiency disease or the genetic cause or the genetic cause for the immunodeficiency disease so i am just going to focus only on the immunity based questions on the immunodeficiency disease because the second only compartment is acquired or the secondary i am sure you all know hiv infection is the most important thing so i think secondary may not be important as far as immunity is concerned the immunity based questions will be primarily from the uh, primary immunodeficiency disease as far as this section is concerned the third section which we need to focus on the exam is hypersensitive reactions so your questions will be there are lot of questions on hypersensitive reactions type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 so you learn you have to know the underlying mechanism involved in hypersensitive reaction the fourth important area we will focus in detail is autoimmune diseases i'm sure you have to learn some of the important prototypical autoimmune autoimmune diseases like uh, the sle or your jogren syndrome or uh, diseases like your patients with uh, the the mixed connective tissue disorder so we we'll learn some basic autoimmune diseases with appropriate mainly our focus will be on the antibodies what are the appropriate antibodies for each conditions because this is where the mcqs will be the appropriate antibodies the questions will be like this what is the antibody of choice in patients with jogren syndrome what is the antibody of choice in patients with celiac flu what is the antibody of choice in patients with autoimmune hepatitis primary biliary cirrhosis so like this you will get some questions on the antibody so we'll learn all these things in autoimmune diseases then amyloidosis we should learn lot of as key aspects in amyloidosis and the last one we should focus is on the transplantation diseases transplantation diseases mainly our focus will be on the rejection so keep in mind rejection is the most important area we will focus on in rejections you should know about hyperacute rejections hyperacute rejections you should also know about the acute acute is further classified into acute cellular rejections acute humoral rejections then you should all finally learn about chronic rejections so i think transplantation disorders primarily are emphasis on rejection then off late we got questions on graft versus host disease we will learn this also from this chapter graft versus host disease from this i think the best thing is to learn all 